Uh, man. Hey, Brian, what's up? I'm just, uh, I'm just chilling with my, uh, my food for today, you know? I'm just, uh, ah. Oh, man. Wow, you know? What's up, everyone? <laughs> oh my god, hold on. I'm not gonna force you to eat, listen to eating sounds. Hold on. Hey, everybody. How's it going? <laughs> I literally... I'm. I never buy Burger King, but I'm like, for today I have to do it. Just has to be done, you know? I also don't like to eat on stream, but you know what? It was worth it. <laughs> I now have this Whopper here the entire time. Oh my god! Steve! You made you made the little, the, the, I can't point in the right direction, the head guy, he popped out. And you also figured out how to raid, congratulations. Gotta get that BK, that Burger King vibe, yeah. Hey Oz, and hello to everybody that uh, is here now. Hello. How's it going? My music's a little too loud, I gotta... Twitch hates me? Yeah, it does. That's nothing new though, I'm, I'm used to that. My music is way too loud for me. Let me know if it's too loud for you guys. Actually, I have the desktop audio on, I should shut that on. There we go. Everybody loves Risk. Oh, my thank you. I appreciate that. I got the Burger King represent. We're here. We're ready. My desk is tiny and doesn't fit all this stuff, but... We make do, you know? We make do. How's everybody doing today? I hope... I hope good. We're here. We're... We're ready. It's been a little bit in the works, waiting for, uh... The stream to happen, but... We're, uh... We're doing that good old uh, Drawing stream. We're gonna draw Burger King Sean. Whatever that is. Let's go risk. Why, thank you. I appreciate it. A lot of first time chatters here, too. So thank you for coming on out. I appreciate it. Oh, toggle visibility? That's not useful now. It'll be useful when I'm doing the art stream. It forces me to close my eyes for like, uh, I don't know if I said 15 or 30 seconds. I don't even know my own channel point rewards. I really don't. But. You know, if I'm drawing and I'm in the middle of drawing a line, you can toggle that off. It's more important for games. But, you know, I don't know how long that was. I don't have a timer. I should get a timer. I got a stream deck recently. I could put a timer on that. I never thought about that. I didn't think that far. I really didn't. Um, but yeah. Anyway. We're gonna be doing Burger King Sean today. Um, I don't... Really know well. I mean, okay, we kind of know what that's gonna look like, right? It's gonna be Sean's face on the Burger King man. The bur is he called the Burger King, or is it like the Burger King King? I couldn't find a definitive answer to that. It's very weird to try to. Uh, oh man, Steve, the subs, the gift subs. Hey, King Burger King. That makes sense. I guess saying Burger King King would not make that much sense. But yes, thank you, Steve, for the subs. I appreciate it. And welcome, everybody who's now a sub. <laughs> um, so yeah, so, uh, okay. I'm not gonna stay on the screen too long. We're gonna go over, I draw on Procreate, by the way, on an iPad. So here he is, look at that. Wow, look at that. Oh man. Uh, okay, so I have a thing set up. I also have a few things in here I can't talk about, as you can see. So, shush, secrets. Pretend you didn't see anything. I mean, you can see some of the stuff. I mean, we got the we got the old dispatch graphic here. Ta-da! Um, so there's that. In all of its glory. Um, so yeah. But, uh, can't talk about the rest of it, so we'll go in here. All right. So what picture of Sean are we working with? Well, okay, so I got some reference photos in this thing. I also spilled a tiny drop of liquid on my iPad. I'm going to turn it off for a second so I can do that. 
Do we have options? Not really. Unfortunately not. The only options we have is the single picture that is in any good resolution that we can work with. So I have a few photos, as you can see. Number one, if you didn't know, the Burger King, or, the, or King Burger King, I guess, has been around for a little while. But they kind of got rid of him for a few years, and now they've brought him back, and he looks like a tad bit different, so I had to take a screenshot of one of their ads. So here he is. We're done, guys. We did it. It's the Burger King. <laughs> but yeah, they, they put it... Uh, he's not that much different. They put the new logo on his crown, and his face is like a little bit slimmer, but that's about it. <laughs> you creeped me out back in the day. Yes. Yes. I agree with that. I think I got some of that, like, creepness factor out when they did, uh... I don't know if you guys remember this. Probably. I mean, it was kind of a big thing for them, where they did, like, the... Uh, Xbox 360 games, like Sneak King and stuff. You know, that game, I mean, if we played it now, it'd probably be like, wow, that's trash. But at the time, it was like, ooh, Sneak King. I am the Stealth King. Giving burgers to people and stuff. It, it was it was a vibe. It was a vibe. Yeah, we got that. We got uh, the Burger Man. We then have the, the general image that you guys have seen plenty of times. Of Sean. Now, this image is tilted a little bit. I've tried to align their faces generally. Obviously, you can't really see it here, but if you turn the opacity down. Now, it's not perfect. Uh, oopsie daisy. What layer am I on? I'm on the wrong one. You can see how it's kind of aligned to the face. I think that's going to be good to have it there. I'm going to show you how I'm going to be doing this today as well. And um, then I also have the Burger King logo that's kind of aligned with the crown here. Mostly because you can't really see it otherwise. So, it's there as well, just as a reference to make sure we don't screw it up. Okay. Yahoy! But like a pirate greeting? Yahoy! Should be like, hear ye, hear ye, because we're working with the king. Kinda? Perfect. Alright. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is we're going to use these photos kind of as obviously reference, but we're going to kind of do line art over it. And then the plan from there is to kind of merge Sean's face with it. And I think the best way we're going to do that is we're going to draw the crown. We're going to draw his hair, which is going to be a nightmare. Um, and his mustache, I guess. Should we give Sean the mustache? I feel like it's fitting, right? That's like the scary part of his face. Um, not Sean's face, the king's face. Um, and then we just draw Sean's face. Yes, we draw the mustache. Yeah, we, we have to, right? Like, you know, we can't not do it. Definitely needs the stash. Of course it does. Of course. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know why I asked the question. Of course it needs it. More so that I want to see Sean with the mustache rather than him as the king. I just want to see that mustache on him. I like yours. Eh. Sure. It was one of those things I grew out like in college and it just I've never shaved it off. I probably should though. It's been a while. I think the upper part of my lip might not exist anymore. It might just be mustache now. Alright, um, so one thing, if you haven't seen me draw on stream before, um, you will get to soon learn that I draw in obnoxious colors. Um, mostly so that we can see. <laughs> twist it up to what mine or the king's mustache mine doesn't really twisty it's just kind of there but yes so basically here's the process I'll explain to you the process before we even start because I already told you we're doing line art but I kind of do like a general sketch general kind of crap line art and then we clean up that line art with a, a different brush you can see the different brushes here so this is the one we'll be using for a while. I have to make a new layer. So this is the one we'll be using. It's kind of this pencil sketchy sort of thing. So we'll get rid of some of those. And then I have this other brush here, which I use here. It's kind of a smoother line and it looks like that. We can make it a really thick, thick boy line. You can make snakes really easy with this thing. There you go, we did it. So yeah, 
We're gonna clean it up with that and then we'll do some, some color and stuff. I finally hit puberty enough in my late 30s that I can now grow a beard. Yeah, you know, I'd love to do that. I took like, you know, a couple years ago, I think there was like some like Instagram filter or maybe Snapchat, I don't know what it was. When they first introduced like the, the, the beard filter and it put a nice, it gave me like the king beard. It gave me like this king beard, no, not the hair, of course. But it gave me the nice majestic beard and I'm like, dude, it looks great. It's not gonna happen. I, I get this. A little bit more than this. I, I shaved today a little bit, but you know. Point proven. It's not gonna happen. All right, so I'm gonna start here. I guess with the crown. The crown's not super complicated. Most of this crown is gonna be coloring and lighting and stuff. I'm also not guaranteeing that we're going to finish the hair today. But we'll try and see where we get to. Anyway, the majority of this, again, for some of you that have not been to these art streams, it's been a while since I've done one. And of course, a lot of you are from Shot to the Moon. My past art streams were more so uh, just things for my channel and just random drawing of stuff. This is still kind of random, though. Uh, it's just a pretty chill vibe, you know? We're just talking about stuff. After a while, you kind of forget the art's happening. Mind you, you're still having a good time. Hopefully. Let me know if you're not having a good time, because I, I want to make sure you are. But yes, okay. So I'm going to mark off with these lines just where the lighting is on here, and then the, this will just help us later when we need to color it in. We might end up getting rid of these lines entirely. I'm not really sure yet. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of sketch out the general parts of things. I want to make sure it's... And this is what I said in the uh, the Discord post as well. I want to make sure it's accurate. So I'm going to just kind of, again, just go around and do stuff. Of course, we can't do that with everything. When we get to the hair, it's going to be a mix of using probably the general shape of the beard. Um, but then kind of artistically just doing our own thing with the beard because... Well, we're going to have to do all of this in line work, right? And a lot of this beard, because the king is actually like a physical guy, like, you know, he actually exists. He's not, he's not going to, well, maybe he'll knock you out. I don't know. Um, you know, this is a real thing that exists. So, I mean, luckily we can kind of just assume how physics and, you know, real life objects work on how this is going to come together. But the problem is, they, they painted, you can see like right here. His beard just is like color that fades into his face. We can't exactly do that with our art. I mean, we could, but that's not really what I want to do. I try to make sure that the line art on its own is good enough, and then you don't actually need to color something in, if, if required, you know, you don't. It'd be nice to have line art that's good before any color touches it, and I try to follow that as much as I can. I hate ads. Yeah, ads aren't fun. I mean... They make a tiny bit of money, mostly for the advertiser. Twitch will tell you it's, uh... Some people are for like, you know, affiliates and stuff. They get a little bit of money out of it. Not really. This is already fascinating. Well, I'm I'm glad you are interested. I want to I want to make sure that you guys are, are getting the information you want too. if you're curious about something that I'm doing and you don't know why I'm doing it. Or if you want to ask about other shot to the moon art or just general things related to art or just really any question at all. If you want to ask. Um, I don't know. What times do I like to eat food at? Ask that too, I guess. I looked at some other reference pictures. These are like jewels. You can't really tell by this, but I'm going to draw them like a jewel. Which is mostly, again, going to be colors, so... This is probably the best I can do with that. But anyway. I enjoy watching people do things that I don't know how to do. Well... I mean, 
I hope to uh, say a few things that if you ever wanted to do this for whatever reason, you could at least know where to start or at least understand what the process is like. It is partially enjoyable. Take some practice to get used to. I don't like that line. Whoopsie. So you know what? I'm just going to undo it. All right. What program is this? This is an iPad app. Uh, it's called Procreate. It's a little uh, application that just allows drawing. I'm turning it around a lot really weirdly. Know that my iPad is in one direction, so I'm trying to uh, look at different directions. That's something that I think I could recommend more as well, is if uh, you're somebody drawing on an iPad like this, uh, then doing something where like you turn the, the canvas so that you can get the best and most confident line work. Like This is a really weird angle to do it, but this feels the most natural. I'm really good at drawing... I'm not going to say really good, but I'm more confident at drawing to the right side than I am to the left side. So I try to turn things that way. Like, this is going to suck, but I'm going to draw it this way. Instead of the obvious way that you thought I might have drawn it. But yeah, this is a, a cool iPad app. It, it, another cool thing, too, uh, is uh, there's not going to be a lot to this, but something that you can look at, too, is there's a video setting here, which I really like. Um, you can go to time-lapse replay, and it actually shows you your whole process as you were doing it. So there you go. There's those lines we drew earlier. And there you go. And now there's the process. So when we finish this, or get as far as we do, again, I'm not going to be streaming forever. Hopefully not, anyway. I mean, I, I like streaming, but... This ain't no subathon. Um, then we can kind of watch back and, and look at it. I like it a lot. I think it's interesting. I don't really know what these lines are that I'm seeing, but I'm just kind of going around them. Maybe we'll look at some other uh, King reference images just to see what those kind of things are. I'm assuming there are other jewels on the other side of his uh, uh, crown here, but I don't, I don't actually know. And again, it's kind of blurry at this resolution, so we have to make some assumptions of how this image looks as well. Um, and again, I'm just marking off these highlighted areas. We'll probably do it in color. We'll get rid of some of the lines, but we'll make that decision later. Right now, we don't really need to make that decision. And hey, Antig, how's it going? The weird reverse. I've watched several of Antig's streams, and now you're here on mine. Mind you, I haven't streamed in hot minute but that's my problem okay so I gotta assume this is hair doing this it's hard to see I'm not really sure I think that must be his hair so I'm just gonna do this then his weird curly hair this is some weird hair by the way I would like to meet somebody with that kind of hair there's got to be somebody right Probably one of those weird people that you would uh, see at like one of those, um, if you've ever seen videos on it where they're like, oh, look at this guy who's got like the world record, like, or like the world's best beard of the year or something. Probably one of those people. All right. Oh, we forgot a jewel. Never mind. I'm not done yet. I'm trying to draw this very, like, angled, but this line, uh, this brush in particular that looks like a pencil kind of rounds things out, so it's kind of hard to do. Again, we're going to be redoing this line art uh, with a more confident brush. Um, when we do that, uh, it'll just be single strokes, so everything will look a lot more angular when it needs to be and everything, so that's fine. Um... I don't know if I should worry about the top of his crown here, but you know what? I'll do it anyway. Again, a lot of his crown is lighting and stuff like that and all that. You can kind of see how there's like the, the glow that's like here and the glow that's kind of like there. And then there's a bit of a shadow here. So 
so we're going to have to try to emulate that later on. Shouldn't be too difficult, but we want to make sure we get it right. Alright. There you go. Okay, so... We now have to do the logo, so I'm going to turn on the, the logo layer we have here. And I tried to align it as close as possible. I want to make sure that this logo's here. Now, we could just use the actual logo. I'm probably, I don't want to do that, though. That's boring. Um, oh, the opacity's low on that. Never mind, wrong layer. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do this... No, I'll keep it on the same layer. It's fine. I'm going to do, when we get to uh, different elements of the face, I like to do them in different layers. That just allows you to have some extra flexibility later on. Um, if there's some of you that didn't see the Discord post from today about the stream happening today, uh, in the Shot to the Moon Discord, uh, this artwork later as well, I will both this will both be an emote for the Discord, but it'll also be... Uh, the full art will be posted in that channel as well, so if you want it for memes or what have you, it'll be there as well. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to change this brush color because I can't see. What color should we do? Let's do green. We'll change the color later. For right now... It's going to be obnoxious colors. Apologies to your eyeballs. This will end up turning out to kind of look like an interesting, unique art style as well when we're done with this, um, which is cool. You'll see what I mean when we get closer to doing this as well. Um, it's kind of like a sketchy art style. It's kind of cool, but... For Discord emotes, it doesn't really help when it's that small. How accurate does the tracing need to be? It doesn't need to be super accurate. Again, right now we're trying to keep it accurate because I want to make sure the Burger King logo looks good and that the crown looks great. And we will be using the outside of the sh uh, king to uh, make sure that the actual like size and everything is right and that we have the right silhouette. When it comes to a mascot kind of character, you want to make sure that it looks fairly accurate and it still holds a lot of those similar features, like the silhouette, uh, the outline looks similar and everything. But the inside of the character can look very different, um, which is what we're going to be doing. I mean, we're already going to be doing that when it comes down to the face. We're going to use Sean's face. Um, but this, this hair, we're going to have to do a lot of our own line work because of the way that the line art's gonna have to be. If we try to follow the lines in the hair realistically, it's not really gonna make sense. We can use a bit of it as a guide, but that's the part that's gonna be a lot different. We're gonna have to kind of put our own spin on it. Especially when it gets to the beard. But for right now, we gotta get these, uh, these letters done. By the way, once we're uh, done that, we'll, we'll do the hair. So I'm going to have the hair on its own layer, and I'll have the crown and this logo on its own layer. And then we'll do uh, Sean's face after on its own thing. And they'll all be wacky colors, but then we'll change it, and then we'll get to, to see the art partially done, and then we'll clean it up. Or if you want me to, this is something that I guess you guys can decide for me is either I can do the coloring before or after. We can do some kind of simple shading to get a general look of what it's going to look like when it's done. Or if you guys end up liking the style before we clean up the line art, then we can do that too. Sometimes it's down to opinion. I, 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 I don't hate the... Uh, I like to call them concept sketches. They're not really concept sketches. They're more quicker kind of sketches, they're, they're kind of like the base line to follow, and then you can use that later to, uh, again, make your cleaner version. But uh, sometimes they look nicer. Actually, while we're here for a second, I'll show you something. I'll show you a good example here. Let me back out of here for a second. 
So I showed you the, the dispatch art before, and I'll, I'll show you guys that again. So this is kind of the thing we use for the dispatch. Um, it's currently one of my, my desktop wallpapers. Um, but yeah, so we use this, right? Um, but this was this came from me cleaning up the line art of this art. This was the initial one here, right? And so this is kind of what we're doing right now. It's a very similar thing. So this is what it'll probably look like stylistic wise. This I obviously shaded in and did some coloring, or not coloring, just, just shading, but you get the idea. So we're doing a similar thing with that, or with this. You don't really have to do the shading part, but I like doing it for reference just to know how to get the colors to look at the end of the day. All right. There we go. I almost got these letters done. I like that Burger King went to their uh, their older logo. It's kind of ironic. Their older logo is very simplified. And then they went to this new, like, edgier kind of super dynamic and busy logo because that was what was in at the time and then they went back to the simpler logo because now that's the the thing to do is to have the minimalist look edgy burger king yeah i mean that's what it was trying to do it had that nice like circle around it and it was like look at me i'm burger king you know the slanted italics letters. I was like, oh, whoa. Burger King, it's going beyond or something. I don't know. Beyond meat, maybe? I say that. I think Burger King does impossible uh, meat burgers rather than beyond meat, but anyway. You know, I have this Whopper here. I actually already, <laughs> I already ate Burger King beforehand. I got this extra Whopper just, just for you guys. All right, now we have a weird multicolored bun going on here. I wouldn't suggest eating that burger. It's kind of gone green. There you go. So we have we have that crown. It looks kind of weird now, but we get rid of this. You can see it kind of has the shape. Looks kind of strange, but right now it's the hair. That's what we want it to come down to. Uh, what color will we make this? You know what? Let's use green still. We're going to go with the green Burger King. All right, I'm gonna use the outside here just to get a general shape. We might use some elements of the hair as, as reference and uh, kind of using as outlines, but when it comes to the beard here, we're just gonna have to do our own thing. What is this beard end here? It's like here, it's very dark around this part of uh, the king. Probably hiding something in his beard, if I'm being honest. Is that, where, uh, is that where the Burger King hides the, the side of fries? Or is that where he hides the burgers? He always pulls out a burger from somewhere, but we never really know where that is. Okay. Oh, there we go, I see. He's got this weird, like, hard jaw, you notice that? Man. Kinda harsh. All right, there we go. Get this going here. All right, I think we're good here. Nice. All right, so how the heck are we gonna do this? So first of all, I have to look at his hair here <laughs> to see what's going on here. So you have these kind of like curly things going on, right? He's, he's going like this. And so this is like a curve up this way, right? And then it just kind of stretches back that way. Uh, so that's what happens on both sides. And then I guess his beard kind of interrupts his hair here by going like this. And we got like beards around. So I guess we're gonna have to do that. I might have to use part of the curl here to make sure that it's right, but should be good here. Looks like his hair flows like this into this curl. So let's try to do that first of all. I'm not really sure how his hair is supposed to be going here, but... 
I think my worst thing is hair. So here we go, all right? This is so wild to watch. Well, it is a little wild. It's gonna be weirder when we have to do Sean's face and put this on the Burger King, isn't it? What's that gonna look like? I'm curious. <laughs> All right, there we go. It's, uh, is that the right line? Here it is. All right, there we go. He's got a curve there, and then he's got this weird line here. I'm gonna neglect that for now. Might go down like here. A lot of these lines are just going to end up fading off into existence. I think we'll use the... When we can't see it anymore, that's what it's going to do. Love seeing talent do work. Oh, I thank you. I mean, a lot of my my work is more so, not so much art like this. It's more actual graphics and stuff. Joined a little late. What Would you, would you mind sharing what tech and software you're using? Well, uh, for one, I have all of the stuff that I use for my stream as well as the stuff that I'm using right now for drawing uh, below the stream. So if you're curious about that, that is below. Um, but I guess I can say it now. Uh, this is Procreate on iOS. Uh, it's basically just a little drawing tool. It gives you some layers and stuff like that to work with. You get a bunch of different brushes and all that. Uh, they've updated it multiple times. It's been around for a while now. Um, and uh, I'm just using an HDMI capture to capture it to show all of you. And, uh, yeah, and I have, like, an older iPad. I have an iPad that they say, don't use, because it doesn't give you a lot of, uh, storage to use, which, it's true. But I already bought it, so... Oh, well. Okay, what are the curves going here? There's, like, a curve here. Not really sure what I'm seeing here. Is it like this? Sure. I don't know. I don't know what I'm really looking at, I'll be honest. I think that goes into there. Part of the crown is where his hair is. His hair is supposed to go up like this. Right? We'll keep that there for now, just why not. Okay. That's a weird one. There's a curl there. His hair is very weird. He's got these weird, like... I guess we can put some of these in here. Angle's not right on that. Got a few lines here. I guess we can keep these in. Give some direction to his hair or something. We'll have to do a lot more to his hair to make sure it has a lot of weird art. Thanks for sharing. I'm hoping for an iPad and Procreate for Christmas. Nice. What are you wanting to draw? You got plans? You got things in mind? I feel like everybody's got a little bit of something in mind, you know? I'm not sure if we need a line down here, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's a weird angle. Yeah, I unfortunately got an iPad right around the time they were making newer iPads that have support for, like, Apple Pencils and stuff, so I just have to use, like, a really basic stylus. Which is fine, but you don't get any of those extra... A little bit of pressure sensitivity and stuff that make things a little bit nicer, so... That's why I like to draw it like this, because I can kind of, like, stack the thickness on and make, like, thicker lines how I want. And then it gives me more of a guide, um... To figure out how we're going to make the thicker lines later, right? I just want to be able to do basic drawings. I'm sure that my artistic ability is shit, though. Well... I mean, the more you do it, the better you get at it. And, you know, practice makes perfect. Which sounds like a generic thing to say, but I mean, it's true. Literally all of my, like, graphic design knowledge came from, uh, I'll actually wait to do that. Um, all of my, like, graphic design knowledge that I have was all just stuff as a kid, just doing it for, like, well, the first thing I ever did was I did a uh, emotes for, uh, old free, like, forums at the time. And so I just ended up learning that kind of software over time and like figuring out what looks good, what looks bad. And eventually I was like, well, this looks good, so I should keep doing that. And don't do this because I don't think it looks great. Either you have it or you don't. My stick figures tell the story. Eh, I don't think that's true. I wouldn't say that. 
I mean, stick figures are still actually important. If you do a stick figure, then you can really do any art. And it doesn't mean that every piece of art... It doesn't mean, like, hey, if you can't draw, like, a, a realistic human face or something like that, or make it look even, like, slightly good, then your art is, is terrible. You can't, you can't do art at all. No. I mean, if you know how a stick figure goes together, then at least you have, like, a sense of, uh, you know, how the perspective... Uh, what am I trying to say? You have an idea of the shape and everything, you know? You, you, you have proportions figured out. So there's a start. You start drawing with paper and pencils first and eventually transition to digital. Uh, I mean, it's kind of a weird question for me because the first kind of anything art related I ever did was again, was like stuff that was like graphic design and like logos and stuff and, and little like emojis and things. Um, not as complicated as this. They were literally like circles with little smiley faces on them and stuff like that. So it wasn't like super complicated. Um, but that was like my first thing for art. But then when it came to like actually drawing stuff like this, um, you know, I guess the first thing I really did was mostly on paper. But again, the process is so different. It feels like you're learning a completely different set of skills honestly i guess how did you begin is a better question um yeah for actually like drawing stuff i guess it was on paper but again yeah feels very different you know it's it's just it's a very weird thing to do seems like his hair is going up like this here and do something like that i think a weird line here, I'm not sure if that's something. I'm going to try to peel to these lines, add a few lines here or something, I don't know. I don't like that line. Oh, there you go. Actually, I see something here. There we go. There are a few interesting lines here or something. Here's got these weird little, like, ripple effects. I'm not really sure what it is, but... Trying to use them as reference and figure this out. Because his hair goes all over the place, man. But yeah, no, I, I mean, the, the first stuff I started drawing, really, it, it kind of depends. Like, I guess, like, I, I went to a bunch of, like, summer camps as a kid, and I did, like, these, like, graffiti things that you were supposed to do. But I don't know if I really count that. It gave me more of an idea of how to do like character design, which sounds really weird, but there was like, oh, you know, you can do like simple like graffiti characters and stuff. There was one character I did, I'll draw him on a, you know, I'll show you. There was one character that I had that was like uh, this little triangle dude, like this. And then he was like, he had this like hair like this or something. And he had these little, like, eyes like this. And he was always surprised all the time. And then he had these little, like, stick hands. These little stick legs, like this. That was a character I used all the time. I don't know why. But, like, that was one character I had. I think I had another one that was, like, this little, like, marshmallow guy that looked like this. And he had these, like, eyes like this. He was always grumpy. He had little legs. He didn't have any arms, though. He just looked like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nice face tat for him. <laughs> They're on their own layers, so we can keep them. But yeah, there you go. I'll just start selling these as NFTs or something. <laughs> Probably could, too. That's the weird part. Burger King Sean is a gangster. I don't know. I don't know his past. Does he have a backstory, you think? Maybe he does. I have no idea. A weird, like, little... little hoop of hair here or something. I don't know what this is. 
Got a lot of these like weird little lines here. I'm not really sure what it is. There you go. A little bit of weird stuff here. Got to put some more stuff here. I'm not really sure what we'll put here. Hmm. Yeah, he was a high school star for soccer. Oh, there you go. We gotta like rope it in. We gotta make sure it's actually realistic and then we don't have to think of Sean's actual backstory ever again. It'll just be this. And secretly, he actually is the Burger King King or the King Burger King, whatever. Maybe this is accurate lore. Maybe this is genuine stuff we just don't know about and he won't tell us about. I haven't seen him comment on this. Is that a cat behind you? Technically. Technically it is. Fortunately, it's a little, uh, it's not a very flexible cat. That might be the best way to put it. You know, I thought that was real and just looking at the wall. Yeah, I keep forgetting it's there. It's one of my, like, parents' things. It's just like a doorstop thing. <laughs> that cat looks stone. Yeah. It's pretty accurate, I'd say. I have actual cats, but they're not allowed in here right now because they like to disturb everything. I can maybe try to get one right now, but... They're probably all sleeping at this point. They sleep like, you know, 19 hours of the day. It's true too, like I, I literally, I don't wake up like super early in the morning. I'm that kind of person, I'm a night owl person. But like, oh my God. Even when I wake up, like, early sometimes, my cats are asleep. When I am, like, awake during the day, even from, like, noon till, like, I have, like, dinner, which is usually, like, around 6 p.m., my cats are asleep. They sleep. And then they're active, like, all hours of the night. You know how it is. You're a cat owner, you understand. Okay. So we got these little, like, hair rolls. I'm gonna have to stop this soon though, because it's gonna start reaching beard territory. And we still have the other side to do. I said in the Discord <laughs> that it's like, ah, maybe we'll have time, we'll get to the uh, other emotes today. I don't think that's happening, guys, I'm sorry. The Burger King man's a little too complicated for me. Sorry, I mean Sean. It's always weird to me to say that, because that's also my name. Not spelled the same way though, so it's completely different. Never mind, it's not the same at all. I'm gonna keep doing that. Yeah, my, my whole thing with this hair is just to try to like imply lines of direction. That's generally the whole thing with like drawing hair, at least in this way, is you're just like trying to imply the perspective. Um, it's not perfect. I think if we turn off this layer, we won't quite have the perfect thing. Yeah, it's got a cool look to it though. We could probably draw a little bit more around this thing though, around his little curl. I need to look up if there's actually like a name for this hairstyle, I swear. Yeah, look at that. There's a bit of a, you see this? Might be hard to see for you guys. There's a bit of a, like a line here. I'm gonna draw it. Kinda goes in like this. 
Maybe I'm just making things up in my mind. I don't know where this goes off into. I'm just gonna fade it out here, I guess. I give a bit more depth to his curl. Ooh, look at that. That's a bit better. There you go. Nice. All right, I'm gonna avoid the beard for now. I'm gonna do his other side curl thing, and then we'll uh, we'll figure this out. What goes into here. I wanna I wanna bump this out a little bit. I'm gonna erase some of this line here. I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna make it a bit poofier. I, I want that I want that poofy poofy king hair. You know. A little bit of poof, a little bit of a little bit of extra hairness to it. Okay, cool. Right, we're gonna do his other curl now. This one looks a lot different compared to the other one. Is that just me? Like, it, like it's a curl, yeah, but kind of weird. Not quite the same thing. Let's see here. Appreciate all you sticking around here, though, by the way. Alright. There is a weird depth thing here, too, but it's a little bit more obvious. There's like a line going like this. It's actually really helpful. That's making sure that I actually keep the perspective accurate. Is uh, I think that's the most confusing thing to do, art-wise. I don't really like that line. I'm not gonna keep it. Um, that's the most confusing thing to do, art-related, uh, kind of. In, in terms of art-related stuff, is like doing, um, making sure your perspective is right. I think that's probably the hardest thing. Does that curl do that? Yeah, I guess it does. Doesn't it? Hold on, I'm gonna. Round this out a little bit more. That looks better to me. Okay, cool. Alright, so yeah, there's just a lot of detailing we're gonna do here in the hair. Like, that's mostly... I think that's the majority of this image, which makes sense, because 90% of it is hair. You actually want me to put the, this stuff on his face, by the way? I will. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what's, um... Oh, what's the thing that they have? I forget what they say. In Suicide Squad, you know? What do they have on, on top of, uh... Jared Leto's head for the Suicide Squad Joker? Is it, like, insane or something? Can we do that? Like, we just do, like, insane. Except, we won't do insane, though. We'll do, like... Burger. You know? We gotta make sure people know that he's the Burger King. And that he only thinks about Burger. I wanna see like a, a commercial where the, the king is doing like average everyday things. Because he has a life and he has to do other things outside of just burgers. Like, at least with Mr. Clean, that's, like, explained, right? Because he, he cleans houses, that's what he does. If he's in his own house, he's probably also cleaning it. You don't ask questions there. But when it comes to the Burger King King, I'm like, what What do you do in your day? I want to know. Maybe, maybe it's just what he does in Sneak King. He sneaks up on people and gives them burgers in his spare time. Don't tell the corporation. <laughs> They can't know I'm giving you free burgers. Did I actually go into that? I see that? Very strange. Alright. Well. Man, we just got some of this to like figure out. Oh wait, I, I didn't do this one line.
I like this line. What is this? If I turn this off, it's going to look weird, isn't it? I'm going to redo this line. This. I think it's accurate. It just looks weird, you know what I mean? I drew this on a different layer as well. I'm going to merge that. I don't like this line. I don't know why. I just don't. It looks weird. Let's just ignore that and draw our own line. Maybe our own couple lines. I don't know. That looks weird. I'm not going to do that. Hmm. Gonna make up some lines here. Let's see what we can do. I don't hate that so much. I think this could go up more and like do something like this, right? Kind of imply the curl shape a little bit more. Something like that. Maybe draw a bit of a curl coming down here or something. Looking good, my thank you. I think that uh, it's kind of hilarious that we're gonna end up having this emote, but now after we've had uh, Sean have his profile picture on Twitter be Von Wendy, I think we'll be able to convince him to change it to uh, Burger King Sean when we're done. I feel like we'll be able to, right? That seems like a thing. Seems like we'll be able to do that. Oops, I hit my microphone. Apologies. Okay. Let's bring the let's bring the king back. Oh god, jump scare. I feel like his hair looks more complicated on this side, but I think that's because it's the lighting. We'll probably have to go back to the other side as well, just to make sure that everything remains accurate, you know? Weird, like, line thing going on here, you see that? This will probably look a lot better as well when we have actual like lighting here, but I don't know. It's also going to be confusing to do that too. When it comes to like boxy objects, it's a lot easier to like figure out how to do like basic lighting because if you have like a box or something, right? You know, you, you've got this like that's really bad perspective, but you know, you've got this box up here or something, right? And you're like, I have to make sure that it looks accurate and that the, the lighting's right. You can basically just light this face as like, this is like slightly shaded, this is like really shaded, and that's the perspective, right? But when it's like the Burger King, it's like, oh my god. I don't know which way his curls are facing. I mean, I kind of do. I'm, I kind of want to make sure that it looks like plastic, too. Motlo, thanks for the follow, by the way. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so it's like it's a little confusing to figure out like where things are supposed to be. But he also looks like kind of plastic. -y, so I want to make sure that we have that same feel because his hair never really looks like hair. It's the Burger King. Like they, they never have his hair actually look real because his hair isn't real, you know? So I want to make sure we capture that a little bit as well. A lot of these weird little lines here. Should I do all of them? I feel like it'll be excessive if I do all these lines. Maybe not, though. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we're fine. Looks 
like that's going into beard territory, which it is! Hurrah! Fantastic. That makes me happy. I don't know if we should keep curving that like that. I feel like we need to start moving into beard territory. Are we looking good here? Do we need to add a few lines here? I'm going to turn this off. See if it looks weird on both sides. Yeah, no, that looks pretty good to me. Fairly simple. We're starting to get the, the king to, to come out here. We might want to do some like simple like shading as well. Most important part before we move on to the line art, but I'm not really sure. Yes. Or we can just do it later. It's a little bit easier when we do cleaner line art because we uh, can kind of just like plop simple colors in really easily and then kind of work from there. The other one we need to paint a little bit more. Alright. I think I'm just going to kind of use that same thing. I'm not really sure. It's going to kind of be a mix of this, I think. Getting sort of the the air to to show that the shape's coming together here, right? We got his hair kind of coming this way, coming this way, and then kind of down in the middle. So we need to basically make sure that that's shown through the line art. So a lot of our lines are going to be kind of going over there a lot. I think we'll be kind of doing things like this. I think I'm going to put this line kind of over here and down a little bit. A bit of a line here that I think maybe do something with. Yeah, so at this point I'm just kind of guessing, but I'm just kind of using a few little reference bits here. Like obviously there's a line here that we can use. But I'm just kind of trying to figure out what I think would look best. Maybe something like that or something. Maybe. Mix in a few little extra details here. Make the beard look a little cooler. Some extra little bits. Alright. I'm going to kind of hold off on doing the, the lip part here because we're going to have to connect that to Sean's face. So I won't worry about that right now. So I guess this would probably be one of these things, right? It's a little puffy. Hmm. I want to get a line there, but I'm not really sure how to do it. Yeah, that works for me. All right, let's move on to the other side here. You guys sick of me drawing hair yet? Wouldn't blame you. We're doing a lot. It's all worth it in the end though, you know, that's the process. I like this brush a lot because you do small little flicks on the screen and it becomes these small little extra details and stuff. It makes it really easy to just kind of fill in some extra little thinner lines and stuff. And it, it feels the most like a pencil to me, which is the whole point of it. It's a sketching brush. Brush? Brush. Um, I can't word. But, uh, you know, like it, it just has a, a more realistic feel to me personally. Alright, I'm going to change this a little bit. It was a little bigger than I wanted, but it's fine. That looks weird to me. Do something like that, maybe. Simplify this a little bit. Yeah, let's do something like that. I want to create enough um, difference in design and the idea of like what 
his beard looks like. Like, I, I don't want it to look so much like this on this side. Like, I, I want it to match, but I don't want it to be so similar that it feels like it completely uh, just copy and paste. Because we could just get away with doing that, you know? We, we wouldn't, we don't have to do it so that it, like, matches completely one-to-one. -one. But it feels cooler when you do it that way. And it feels better, like, some people might not even think about it, but they might be like, this seems strange. They might just notice the repetition, right? You can't really do everything, like, the, the easiest way out, you know? Otherwise it's gonna look bad. I mean, that goes for multiple things, not just art in this sense. Kind of a weird, like, multi layer thing going on here. Very similar looks. I'm gonna change that up. I don't wanna keep a similar pattern going the whole time. Let's change it up a little bit. That's usually what I like to do, at least when it comes to stuff like hair and all that kind of stuff. Joe Sued, thank you for the follow. Uh, but yeah, so like, I think that's like the best case scenario thing you can do, by the way, to like, make things look different, at least in terms of hair and this style is literally just add a little like, oh, let's add something there and maybe something there. That's kind of what I've been doing this whole time. And I'm doing it because it works, mostly. Go with that. We have some pretty straight lines here at the bottom here. Okay. Obviously his beard is not perfectly straight to the point that every line is going to be perfectly just like pointed in one direction, of course. And there's that. I connect this line up to this. Or something like that. I want to connect more of these lines to things. A little bit longer. Up like that. There we go. That looks cool. Alright, I'm gonna leave his beard there for the time being, I think. Because we're going to have to... well, we'll draw the mustache next as well. I'm gonna draw that on a different layer. And then we'll probably get to doing uh, Sean's face. We'll try to get that more manually placed in a second. Just try to get it in a better position. I'm gonna do his mustache because we will need that as well. Might add a little bit of extra flair to it as well and make it feel a little bit more in line with uh, how the beard feels, because if we just keep it to this shape, it might not feel exactly right. Got a very, like, curly mustache. There's definitely a few, like, devilish characters in, like, some different pieces of media that uh, have very similar mustaches. I, I think I understand partially that, that feeling of, like, his mustache is scary. I think that might be why a lot of evil characters have that kind of mustache. I think the Burger King was maybe like an evil villain in another life and or he was an evil villain and then he just got a different job working at a burger joint. So it actually, you know, made some money. He turned a new leaf, maybe.
this right? There we go. Alright, yeah, that makes a fair amount of sense. Let me get rid of this now. Yeah, that looks kingly enough to me, wouldn't you say? It looks fairly kingly. And I'm gonna add a few similar lines to what we have going on here to the mustache. I think that'll just help it feel a little bit more integrated. And it'll give it that kind of plastic Burger King feel. Because again, I want to make sure that he still feels artificial. I don't know. Is that accurate? By the way, that burger that I have sitting here is, uh... <laughs> it's just gonna, like, sit here and get cold over time. Oh well. It was a good bite initially. Looking good. Well, thank you, Ryan. I'm hoping that, uh... The rest of this comes out. I'm worried about the coloring stage a little bit, because it seems to be kind of a weird... Seems to be in a weird area here. Not really sure how that's going to turn out, but we'll see. Okay, I want to make sure that there's some elements here. I think Vaughn is eyeing your burger. I don't know about that. He's usually into Wendy's, right? I don't know. If he's still here, is he... Are you wanting the burger? Burger time? Looks really gross because I took a bite out of it, but still. This is a very packed Whopper. I, I got a Whopper earlier and ate it. That was my actual meal. This is like so much more packed than that. A standard Whopper, too. Anyway. Yeah. Mayonnaise. There you go, that, that mustache fits a little bit. You literally took one bite. I had a Whopper What? Are you mad that I didn't take a bite? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Okay. There you go. There's another bite. <laughs> it's decent. It's not exactly the warmest at this point. We like watching you eat. Is that creepy? Oh, God. It sounds creepier than it actually is, I think. It's still kind of creepy both ways, isn't it? <laughs> Take another bite? Oh, God. You want... Why is this turning into a... Oh, my God. This just turning into like a mukbang stream. Hello everybody, welcome to my, my mukbang. There's like no liquid in that. I've drank it all. Welcome to my mukbang stream, I eat a burger. Okay, Vaughn, Steve, how do you just eat on stream when you're doing certain things? For me, I feel like... <laughs> you guys are just, you're like, screw the drawing. Screw the drawing. Just eat the burger. Just eat the Burger King burger. I don't even care. You want to know what soda it is? It's completely, it's empty at this point. I've just been drinking the ice. It was Fruitopia. Like strawberry Fruitopia. I have water, though. I could drink that. Who orders a small drink? A small drink? This isn't a small drink, it's a medium drink. 
What are you talking about? It's not a small drink. <laughs> Eat the cup. Does it taste like a burger? Doesn't seem to. It's kind of disappointing. I figured at Burger King they would make everything very burger. That's a whittled wink. You made me say that now. Hmm, Fruitopia, that's what I'm dying about. Yeah, it's good. They don't like to put ice as much in the Fruitopia, I find. Regardless of where you get it, I don't know. If it ain't large, it's small. Fair enough. I didn't get large, because it was way more expensive. It was like a, like extra like dollar fifty. I'm like, I don't need that much Fruitopia, I'm good. It was satisfying for my initial meal. It sucks now that I have a second burger. Strawberry, fru uh, strawberry Fruitopia is going to be my <laughs> 4,444. Yeah. Yeah. Well. You would have got there eventually. Y'all blazed up before stream, so food is a big hit. Ah, I see. I'll take one more bite. I'll, 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 leave you, I'll leave you satisfied. I'll take another bite. It has pickles in it. I'm not a huge fan of pickles, but in a Whopper... It's actually not bad. Where do I aim? Where do I do I go here? This seems like the satisfying spot. It has a lot of mayonnaise and gets all over. That's don't take that out of context, please. Oh god. I didn't I neglected to bring napkins. Oh man. Thanks for giving us our fix. Ah. Yes. You're welcome. Next stream, we all get burgers before and have dinner together. Ate the napkins for- Yeah, I know. Couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. Now that bite was scrumptious. Actually, you know what? I'll be honest. That last bite, right there. I say last bite. There's still like half- More than half a burger. There's like two-thirds of burger left. The Whopper's humongous. It's a Whopper, as they might say. Um, it was actually really good. That bite was great. <laughs> Why are the vibes, like, way, like, better when I'm eating a burger? That's all I gotta do. Why, why do I even draw? Why, why do I even draw anything? I'll just, like, eat a burger on stream. I'm eating Burger King on stream. Is eating a category on stream, is that a thing? Actually, that, yeah, food and drink. Mukbangs from here on out, boys. <laughs> I am not reading that message. Specifically the last part, because I feel like it needs a voice, and I'm not going to do that. Nothing's stopping you. Eat that burger. This stream is sponsored by Burger King. You know, if I actually had a food sponsor, I'd, I'd do it. If it was like, oh, Burger King wants to sponsor you. I'd be like, why Burger King? It's like, I don't know. Your burger eating stream was fantastic. It's like, oh yeah, right, yeah. Have it your way? Exactly. I'd be like, okay, yeah, for sure. I don't eat at Burger King that often. And when I say that often, I mean not very much at all. However, if I had a sponsorship with Burger King, I would very much eat there more often. Which also makes me think that, like, Steve, if you get sponsored by Wendy's, are you just, is that like every meal now? I haven't had Burger King in years? Yeah, exactly. I haven't either until this, <laughs> this day. I think the last time, you know, actually, I went to Burger King one time when I was working like this job where, you know, I was, it was mostly outdoors and you're driving between places. And uh, it was like, there's a burger place next to the Burger King here. Steve knows what I'm talking about. 
I decided the two other people I was working with went to Burger King and got food. I went to the other burger place, ordered a burger and a, like a meal from there, and then went over to Burger King to eat with them. I just didn't eat Burger King. I went out of my way to eat somewhere like at a Burger King, but not Burger King food. Luckily, they let me eat there. I, which I can't believe. That burger was also great. But, uh, this Whopper's actually not bad. I've been, uh, I've been... Not hating on Burger King, just kind of sleeping on them. So, in actuality, not bad. Chris the Rebel. That burger that I had was like a burger with, like, peanut butter and bacon on it. Which sounds weird, but the peanut butter is, like, made there specifically to go on the burger, and it's actually fantastic. The other burger place is also very tiny. It has like no tables to sit at. So I feel like that might actually happen a lot to Burger King. I'm gonna make these lines a bit bigger. I feel like they're not noticeable enough. Yeah, that's better. That's a better fix. Let's do something like that. I feel like these lines need to be a little bit more obvious. There we go, that looks better. That mustache hair going. That's the Elvis Presley burger. There you go. Is that the Elvis Presley burger? I thought it was a sandwich. Wasn't it like a sandwich? Wasn't it like a... Like, I don't know. Wasn't there somebody that did bananas, or was it bananas with Elvis Presley too? Somebody had like an like a banana and bacon or something. I'm high enough. A peanut butter burger sounds fire. Yeah, it is. Elvis Presley burgers with fried banana, peanut butter, and bacon. Yeah, I didn't have banana on my burger, but also that would not be. I, I would have accepted that gladly. All right, Burger King man, he's mostly here, but now. perfectly placed. Oh god, I love it. Can we just keep it as that? That's the emote now. I'll like clean up the background so you can see it a little bit better and we'll just leave it at that. Eh? It's perfect. It's it's already perfect. <laughs> All right. I got to resize his face a little bit to fit this better. Oh jeez. Oh my god, okay. Let's see here. We gotta get his mustache kind of placed a little bit better. Tilt his head. I think his head has to be a little bit bigger, actually. Maybe like a tad. Something like that, maybe? That seems about right. The side of his head's still there a little bit. We could just pretend that that's not the case. All right, I'm gonna do a similar thing with his face, but doing actual like faces and stuff is kind of weird. But we should be okay. Uh, what color should we use? We'll use a, like a weird blue color or something. There you go. It's obnoxious. Look at that. Having this in my nightmares tonight. Well, for the few people that possibly could have been following me. I set my go live notification as Risk Red is live drawing a cursed image. Because I figured it was going to turn out to be cursed, and uh, it looks like I was right. So, you know. Uh, what should we start? I'll start with the eye. Look at this. Look at those, like, five pixels. Can we also bully Sean to be like, hey, can you take, like, more than, like, two pictures of yourself? 
more for my benefit. I can't put them on graphics or anything like that because there's like two pictures that exist. I'm gonna draw that a bit differently. It is kind of terrifying, isn't it? I could make it worse and just like add an, a terrifying element in or something like that, which I probably shouldn't do because I don't want to make it worse for myself, but also comedy. We haven't finished so we can get back to that burger. <laughs> I could just turn it into a burger stream. But I just have like a weekly stream of like, Risk eats this kind of fast food. You decide. Partially. I'm Canadian, so if you say something like Chick-fil-A, it's not happening. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about the highlight right now, because I don't exactly know where that is on his eye. Looks like it's like here. I'll mark it. I think I'll put it like here. We'll just redo the highlights. That's just a marking for now. Color is I in. So it doesn't look confusing. The iris anyway. There we go. I don't have a burger, but I'm about to crush this ice cream sandwich. You do that. <laughs> when risk finger paints with condiments. I'm gonna have to get some more condiments. Actually, I think I have a new bottle of ketchup right now, so I probably could do that. For real though, I I, I really like um, Heinz has like a lot of like um, stuff right now that uh, is like different kinds of mayo. And they have uh, this like mayo sriracha mix, and it's like the best. I love it so much. If you guys have ever had like a like a, a Japanese kind of spicy mayo, it's actually good. Have you tried jalapeno ketchup? No, I have not. However, it also sounds excellent. I'm gonna assume his iris is like here. Hard to see where it is, I'm just kind of guessing. If it looks weird, we'll obviously just change it and try to make it something better. Okay. Anyone remember the green Shrek ketchup? I do. Wasn't there like a purple like ketchup as well? I've heard about it and I kind of remember seeing it at a time. But like, I never actually had it. It was ketchup, right? Or maybe it was mustard. I don't know. One or the other. It was weird. Couldn't eat it. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, there's other brands doing weird stuff like that, too. Um, in Canada, we have Kraft Dinner, which is just like mac and cheese. Um, it's Kraft's mac and cheese. They just call it KD. Um, but they have, like, cotton candy flavored. I don't know if that's just a Canadian thing or if that's, like, more international than that. But they have, like, cotton candy flavor and, like... The rest of them are like normal. They're like jalapeno and like, I think they have like a buffalo wing and like a poutine flavor as well, which is like the most Canadian thing ever I know. I haven't had them. I'm curious about uh, like cotton candy, why? Remember, this is mac and cheese. Like, I, I don't, I don't understand. 100 spent to go raid the fridge because I'm high and you almost stop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I realize I'm not helping here. 
Wow, there's the eyes of the Pfeiffer man. He's there, looking at you. You gotta try cotton candy grapes. Cotton candy grapes? Now, is that grapes that somehow taste like cotton candy, or is it like actually cotton candy on grapes? I genuinely don't know. Pop Rocks Grape- what is- what- what is this? I have never heard of these- of such things. Alright, explain it to me. While I take a bite of this burger. Oh. That had a bite to it. Hmm. Wait, what? 100% real grapes that taste like cotton candy. Huh. Okay. That I'm genuinely... Okay. Alright. A grape wrapped in fruit roll-up then covered in Pop Rocks. That also sounds fantastic. Have to be genetically engineered or something. I'm not sure. Likely. Does it still taste grapey though, or does it just taste generally like cotton candy? Because if it tastes like cotton candy the whole time, then yeah. But if it tastes like a grape with like a cotton candy taste as well, then I could see it being different. It just tastes like cotton. Okay, yeah. Then in that case, it's probably something like that, but I don't know. That's a satisfying thing to come back to, isn't it? <laughs> it's a nose, I swear. When they're in season, I'll send you some. There you go. I've genuinely never heard of that. Like, I'm not surprised, but at the same time, still need to order the garlic spread to Schiller talk about. Oh! Hmm. I might know what he's talking about. More so because I also have some, like, garlic butter. It might not be the same thing. I don't know. I bought some garlic butter, though, and that's really good stuff. I think it's locally made. Or, like, close to locally made. It's Canadian? Yeah, it's probably the same thing, then. If it's the same thing, I can vouch. It is good. You can make, like, garlic bread as well, which is really cool. I don't want to do that. That looks weird to me. At the bottom of his nose? I can't tell. I think it is. Kind of just guessing. It's hard to see his nose. confused on how his nose goes together. It's really weird. That sounds like a really weird line, I realize. Ignore me, I'm trying to figure this out. I mean, don't, but also do. Okay, this is interesting. Yeah, that might look okay. I might not too at the same time, I'm not really sure. Uh, the nostrils look strange, but I can fix that. Gotta bounce and hang with the fam. Y'all have a good night. Yeah, you too. Thanks for coming on out. I, I really appreciate it, honestly. And I do hope that you have the the rest of your night is really good. Okay. There's that. You can kind of make that come out a little bit more like that. 
maybe curve it down a little bit. Yeah, we just have to uh, do something like that. And there you go. That should probably be a little bit better. Yeah, there you go. Much better. All right. We got a bit of a nose going on. We can probably fix a bit of this angle here. Make it a bit better. Feel a little bit more rounded. Let's see if I can do that. I feel like it's kind of inevitable to feel that way. Or to like want to be that way. There you go. There you go. It's a little bit more round now. I don't know if this is going to end up looking like Sean in the end, but we'll see. Uh, Alright. Bit of a line here. Let's see if we can integrate that somewhat. Might put an extra line here. To, just to accentuate that. Bit of a line here as well. Alright, let's see. Okay. We'll try to get his mouth in, uh, maybe the eyebrows in a second, and then uh, I'm gonna try, I think what I'll do after we get the mouth in here and the teeth and stuff, um, what I think I'll do is, cause if we go to the actual king here for a second, he's got a lot of these extra like lines and stuff, like these extra like kind of, uh, uh, I keep tapping the screen when we go to uh, the actual layer for a second. He's got these lines here. Got a little bit of the crow's feet, as you might say. So we might add those to Sean too, but that might also take away a little bit, so let's we'll see. If it ends up looking like him before we get to that point, I might just ignore it. It just might help make him look uh, more kingly and fit that kind of, uh, that kind of style. Oopsie. And I did the thing for Mortal Kombat there. Okay. Do this little corner piece. I don't really know where his lip is. Is it here? Sure. It is now! Perfect. Actually, wait a minute. That's not what I want to do. I want to do the bottom of his lip for now. He'll do the inside fully, but I want to do the bottom of his lip here. Usually with the mouth, I try not to do full line art around the whole thing, and I kind of leave it partially to color because it looks better that way. Typically, anyway. I'm going to redo that. A bit more of a curve to it. There we go. Big Bake with the sub as well. They subscribed for six months. What the hell? Really? You've been subbed for six months? How though? How good, sir? I mean, I guess you've just been consistently subscribed for six months, but still, I'm surprised about that. Thank you very much. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, with the gift subs. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Welcome to everybody that has a sub now. Usually my uh, my notifications say, uh, welcome to the cult, because it's a bit of a cult here. Feels like one anyway. Actually, it feels more like a mukbang cult now, because apparently I'm supposed to keep eating this burger. I mean, it works for me. But, you know. Right now we're all part of Shot to the Moon, so. I don't know how that ends there. <laughs> I 
<laughs> no more ads. There you go. You don't have to complain about those anymore. I'm just kidding. That's kind of suck. Actually, ads are the worst thing. If you've ever, um, <laughs> oh my God. If you guys have ever seen like streams where it's about like, I guess usually it's, um, oh, what are they called? I can't even think of them now. Oh my god, I am at a loss for words. Jeez, I can't think of it. This the stuff where they like try to relax you, and some people do like streams of it. Anytime there's like streams of that, if you just get random ads and don't sub, you're just gonna be like it's gonna be like a very quiet and like relaxing tone, and then there's just gonna be an ad in your face. Big Bake, did you come to watch him eat burgers? No. Oh. Big Bake, I feel it's it's. It's an honorary bite for you, for all the subs that you have gifted and the sub that you have made yourself. I have a burger. I've partially been eating it this whole time. Um, that's th this this part has to be the bite, right? Here we go. There's gonna be so much sauce that spills out of this. By the way, it's gonna be the worst. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh jeez. Definitely should have brought a napkin. But whatever. I feel like I'm like... I want to say this without sounding too like... Either offensive or weird. Um, <laughs> big bites, there you go. Um, I feel like I'm like selling out my mouth to take a bite of a burger. It's a weird feeling. At the same time, it doesn't offend me. A weird thing to say. <laughs> uh, okay. I gotta draw some teeth now. I bet you never saw the stream going this way. I did not. But you know, you can never really expect how a stream's gonna go. I have a bit of bun stuck to the top of my mouth now. It's great. Oh my god. Yeah, it's just there. ASMR stream. That is what I was thinking of. Thank you. My god, I couldn't think of the, the, the name of it. Oh my god. That is what I was thinking. ASMR streams. And ASMR streamers. You're like forced to sub to them if you actually want to watch their content. Because like, it'll be like, Hey everybody, how's it going? We're just gonna relax here today and have a relaxing time. So uh, yeah, that's all we're really gonna be doing. New at McDonald's! We got a, we got a bacon Big Mac, play Monopoly. The McRib is back. You know, something like that. It's just impossible. And that's how they get you. And probably other things as well, but I'm not going to talk about that. You said amaranth. I think we all get the the idea there. All right. You know, it seems weird for a while if you don't really do art and you do it in this way. Or like when you just start out doing stuff like this. There's a lot of instances where you just run into drawing people's teeth if they're smiling. And it's a very unsatisfying place to be. I didn't switch over to the thing. Here we are. You know, it's exact. It's not exactly comfortable. You get used to it after a while. But it's kind of weird. You know what I mean? 
Like, ah, yes, teeth. Same feeling as when you go on a site without dark mode and nearly go blind. Yeah. Guys. There are, no, are there any of you that are in the Shot to the Moon Discord that use light mode? Be honest. I would imagine no. But if you do, one, why, and two, can you... Can you say why? Absolutely not. <laughs> Gets block ready. Uh, I mean, I figured I knew the answer. I figured it was not anyone. But I was curious. I have to ask. That's for weirdo. <laughs> That's... You know what? Light mode... If you're legitimately blind, light mode is probably the best thing. Because then you can just weird out other people at no extra cost. Or a serial killer. Yeah, but I feel like a serial killer would still want to be able to see, you know? It'd probably still be like, eh, I don't know. Yes, I've killed a bunch of people, but I want to, like, you know, see the messages I get. That'd be good. I don't know if there's another tooth here, but I'm going to draw it anyway. Cool. Teeth. Fantastic. All right. Um, is this looking better? It's looking strange, I'll tell you that much. It's mostly because we have to draw like a gum line here, like this. And we have to draw the open part of the mouth as well. And then it'll look good. Or a little bit more natural. Home of the Whopper. Yeah, should I? I should just put like a, a Burger King logo on my stream and be like, I'm not actually sponsored, but I wish I was. And then maybe we can just actually get Burger King to sponsor. And then we can do like a mukbang Whopper stream, like every every single stream. It's like the dark of his mouth starts like here. Like there. Okay. That I can manage. I'm just gonna generally color this in with this and just see what it looks like. Just to get a general idea, just to make sure it looks decently good. And then we'll see if it's fine. And if it's not, we can just undo it. It'll look generally okay. Yeah, it's fine. There we go. So glad people picked my suggestion of Burger King Sean. Yeah, it's great. And now we're here drawing this cursed image. But it's fine. Frisk eats Whopper till sponsorship. Oh, there you go. Uh, you know, it's ironic. I'm like, I'm actually trying to like work out so that I'm like a little bit more in shape. I'm clearly not now. But like, you know, I do that. I did a workout today and now I now I'm eating a Burger King Whopper, so I'm immediately undoing all of that. But it's like, you know, it's worth it for the stream content. All right, have we drawn everything? Oh wait. He's lacking eyebrows, everyone. I'm surprised that Sean isn't here watching this. I would think he'd want to see himself being turned into the Burger King King. You know, I'd be interested in that position. I'd be like, oh God, how am I going to look cursed now? Actually, maybe he's making the smart choice of not watching to be like, 
Uh, I don't want to see this. I'm happy with my current reputation now. Oh god, coin flip. God, what are we doing coin flip? Oh right, coin flip. Uh, do I have the coin? I do have the coin. Been a while, I'm sorry. One, it's been a while since I've done my last actual stream, and two, nobody redeems the things half the time. Um, I got this coin here. It doesn't really look different to you. I'll, uh... It popped up. Well, that's fantastic. Then do it. That's what it's for. Hello, everyone. How are you today? <laughs> I got this coin here. I don't know if we could focus on it or not. Probably not. I think I went the wrong way. Focus is weird, isn't it? Did I go the right way? Can you guys see it? It's this. See? This little coin here. And uh, it has two sides. It doesn't look very different, but I've had it for so long I know what it's different. This is heads. And this is tails, okay? And I don't know, I have to look at my own reward, because I always forget what I did. Did I say heads? Did I say heads? Okay. Heads is an awesome story about myself. So this side. This side is the awesome story. This side is the not-so-awesome story. Um, aka an embarrassing story. So that's what happens on a coin flip. I'm gonna flip the coin while you're incredibly close to my face. Hello. I have flipped it, and I am truthfully flipping it from my hand. And it was the head side. So perfect. That's great. I'm gonna zoom it out now, so you guys are not incredibly close to me now. We need, uh, we need that little bit of personal space. Okay. Awesome story about myself. Oh god. I have a lot more embarrassing stories about myself, so that's the funny thing. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, hold on. I gotta think about it. I gotta think about it. What is a- what is an awesome story? I don't know. I guess I have one story I can say. I was in a... I was in a high school band. Uh, and I was brought on... Actually, I- I never really- like, I like music and stuff, and I do music. This music in the background's mine. This was a weird track to have right now, but still. Um, so... <laughs> I have interest in music, but like, in terms of actual instruments, the- the high school band that I had was... It was like a, a rock cover band, basically. They, they did like actual like music with like guitars and stuff and all that. And I'm like, I'm kind of interested to learn something like that. But at the same time, that's going to take a really long time to do. And I just don't have quite the de dedication for that. So I won't worry about it. Um, but then... Uh, <laughs> a, a friend of mine at the time was like... I was in a photography class that I hated, that I had to take. I had a lot of problems in high school where I wasn't able to, like, join a lot of the programs that I wanted to do because they just weren't, they were at, like, conflicting times, and a lot of the ones they wanted me to do was, like, woodworking stuff. There was a major push in my high school to do anything, like, construction-wise, so if you weren't doing that, you were kind of seen as, like, a weird kid. Um, so, like, you know, either way, a friend of mine was like, hey... Why don't you join the the music group? Because the music teacher, he needs like a tech person to like help with some of the tech and stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, that wasn't expected, but yeah. So I I ended up doing that, and I was kind of like the main tech person uh, for that for quite a while. And uh, it was really enjoyable. I had a good time doing it. Um, it was a little strange at times, just because like there was a class that we actually took. And, uh... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you guys are having your own stories already. Um... But, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yes. So, I just want to complete the story. Basically, as part of this band, I didn't really play anything, because there was an actual class. There was, like, after-school practice, but there was an actual class that you could also go into. Um, it was basically there just to do more practice, but also for like people that didn't have because the the music teacher is a pretty cool guy And he knew that a lot of people had the same problem I had where they didn't have enough like classes that they wanted to take 
that wasn't like you know a physical activity like like a gym class or like some sort of sport thing or you know woodworking or something construction or engineering so he made that class so that people had a bit more of an option so i went into that class basically as somebody that didn't do anything musically really and uh i was in it for like the last two years of my high school uh you know life you know the last two years that i was there and uh by the end of it i i learned how to play an instrument out of that and i played a song with the band closer to the end of my time as being part of that before i went to college and it was a pretty cool time because it was like our last show it was like basically the, the only time I really played outside of a few times on like because we had like a end of the year kind of trip that was like a tour sort of thing. Uh, our first one was in Chicago and our second one was in like uh, Prince Edward Island. It was supposed to be New Orleans but uh, that was right around when Trump was doing travel bans and stuff so uh, we weren't able to do that. And a very diverse group, which is great, obviously. That is the best case scenario. But uh, certain people were not as much of a fan of that kind of thing. Either way, it was fun. I got to learn how to play like instruments and stuff, and I was like really having a good time doing that. It's more of a subtle awesome story. It just feels good for me. It's like I went on stage and everybody's really happy. And they're like, wow, this guy's like actually doing other stuff musically and not just like sitting and scrolling through lyrics for songs we're learning in class. <laughs> I did other tech stuff too, but like that was generally what I did during the classes and stuff. Because there wasn't much for me to do. Alright. There we go, we got him. Let's let's take a look at this. Oh my god. There he is! Look at him! Look at him here! Isn't that great? <laughs> oh my god. That is kind of scary, but also kind of interesting. Huh. Alright. It's weird colors, I realize. I will change that in a second. I'm gonna draw a few additional lines on his face here. Just to give a bit of depth. Let's put his face back for a second. Got a bit of a line here, so I'm gonna draw something with that. Just gonna draw a few more detail lines and stuff like that on his face. To give it a bit more of a edge to it. He's got a bit of a thin thing going on here. I would be like, chin thing? What are you talking about chin thing? Got a few little extra details just because why not? Alright, look at that. Ooh, there's a weird thing here. I'm going to draw something there too. Oops! Okay. Maybe something there. Just trying to look where there's things that look like different kinds of lines and stuff. Alright. I think we're good with that. Look at that. There's the Sean Pfeiffer as the King Man. Isn't that great? And then what we can do is we can put all these in its own group. And then we can duplicate it. Uh, merge this one. We can go to the hue and saturation. We can just cheat and do that. There you go. Look at that. The king is together. Look at that. I like to merge one down. It just makes it look a little bit crisper. There he is. It's the Sean King. It's Sean Kingston. <laughs> That's a stupid joke. It's a weird line going through here. I didn't notice that until now, but we can fix that. Now, I don't know if you guys like this kind of sketchy style or if we should clean up the line art. I will do either one. 
We can also try to paint this in, which will be a little weird. We're at about two hours now. It depends if you guys want to see this more done now or done later. Ah. It's interesting, though. Hey, we forgot something. I only noticed that now. I forgot a line. It's okay, let me fix that. Now, and more burger. Oh, of course, of course. Let me fix this line and I'll, I'll get some burger. Go in here, of course. Ah, uh, how could I be so stupid? I forgot about the burger. My god. Oops. Don't zoom out yet. Forgot to add this extra bit of line for reference. There we go. Cool. And now we're good. Nice. <laughs> Another burger, please. I am effing starving now. It, it's not like if I eat the burger that you guys get the nutrition from the burger. Not how that works. I mean, unless that's what you want to think. But I don't, I don't believe that's how that works. I've had this burger sitting here for like two hours now. But we see the reactions. It's a placebo bite. Okay, sure. This burger's starting to become a hot mess. Um, alright. It's Burger King, lol nutrition. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> you wouldn't get much nutritional value out of this, regardless. You get the calories, I guess, but more than you need. I'm trying to lose weight, and here's my second Whopper today. Oh my god. Missing fries and ghost pepper nuggets? Yeah. I don't know, do we have that here in Canada? Is that a thing? I had fries earlier. I ate them already. Um, I didn't get the ghost pepper nuggets, though. Mostly because I wanted to be able to show up on stream and not have problems. That would have been a mistake. <laughs> oh my god. How many bites are you, am I taking here? Am I taking multiple bites? I don't really know. I will. This kind of like art style that we have going on here. I don't dislike it completely, you know? Like, it's not terrible. I usually try not to go with like the concept sketchy sort of things because it doesn't look as good for the uh, emote kind of style. But I don't know. It kind of has like a nice look to it. it partially. Just because it kind of has that like old like restaurant kind of mascot feel, you know what I mean? I'm trying to think of who, what I'm thinking of. Like, uh, kind of like Colonel Sanders a little bit. Kind of like, uh, hmm. There's one in particular I was thinking of and I, I can't remember what it was. Oh, you know what it is? It's completely like exclusive to Canada, but uh, there's a place called uh, Smoke's Poutinery. A poutine place. I think they went out of business or something though, or they just left my area. Either way, they had a very similar mascot looking to this, other than obviously not the Burger King mascot and not uh, not Sean as the Burger King mascot. No, this was their exact mascot. They sold poutine with this. I take another bite of the burger. I, f I feel like one wasn't enough. I feel like one wasn't enough for the burger bites. There's also a very satisfying, like, spot right here that looks like it's the place to bite. <laughs> I googled smokes. 
Yeah. Found a few tobacco shops. Seventy one Oh my god, what? Google's trying to dox me. I thought I was talking to my, uh, my, my Google home. Jesus. It's always listening. Yes, it is. I'm muting because I'm worried what it's going to say. The next thing is going to be like, I'm going to kill you. Do another round of poutine. There you go. It's weird to see that Burger King has poutine, though. Do they? Do they have burger? Wait, hold on. You made me genuinely curious. I have to look this up. I'm looking this up now. Might screw up my camera a little bit. Yeah, it's going to a little bit, but I have to look it up. I have to know. I'm looking now. Oh my god. What? They actually do? Oh my god. This is poutine from Burger King. They... Supposedly... I didn't know they had Burger King poutine. Apparently it says, uh... They brought poutine to Brazil, and that's what it looks like there, which is strange. Burger King poutine a la Burger Canada. That's real. I'm Canadian and live in Canada, and I didn't know they had poutine at Burger King. What? Really? What is poutine? Do you not know what poutine is? Can you not... Yeah. There. Hard pass? Yeah. You know, here's the thing about Canada, a little bit when it comes to poutine and stuff like that. The... <sighs> having so many options for poutine and stuff like that at different places, it kind of gets tiring, and at that point, you're kind of, like, not wanting poutine. I've tried poutine at a few places. Sometimes it's good. Most of the time, it's pretty lame. It's just the way it is. Because usually most places cheap out and they don't use actual curd. They just use like kind of like shredded cheese and they melt it. And then they just put like the worst, like the world's worst gravy on it. And then they overcook their fries or something. And it's just bad. And then they try to put like something in it sometimes. They'll be like, oh, we put pulled pork in it. Then it'll make it a little bit better. No, you just made it worse. Sometimes it's good. Depends where you go. But usually it's not good. Usually it's bad. Usually it's kind of terrible. Yeah, fancy poutine is... Hey. Like Canada, get it? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, fancy poutine is kind of just like, why? Just keep it basic. Honestly. And yes, you can have it as its own meal, but having it as like a smaller portion of society, I personally like more. Because I feel like I get sick of poutine really fast as well. But that's just me. Anyway. <laughs> that's a thing. Um, okay. So, I usually like to keep my art streams around two and a half hour marks. So we can either do a cleanup kind of shading paint of this right now and try to get a general idea of what it is. I don't think we'll be finishing it today because there's still a few things I need to do. 
But we will have this again. I will post the finished thing in. I'll probably post a time lapse as well, like the time lapse video somewhere, maybe as a gift to the Discord or Twitter or something. If we don't end up doing everything today, well, I don't think we will. But, uh, you know, so that might be something to try to do. I might do some general shading here, though, just to get an idea of what it might look like. And then I might leave it there for today. But we'll see. Of course, I'll still need to take a few bites of the burger as well at some point. I'm not done it yet. Okay, so... Let's see here. Usually I shade in with like some fairly simple uh, kind of shading here. First things first, I'm going to turn the background layer off so that we can get kind of a base coat layer behind this. Put the face tattoos on them. I'll just put it there for now. They can stay there at the for the time being. I use this weird kind of paint thing. Where is it? I believe it's this. Could be wrong. That's not it. I think it's this one I use. Yeah. I use this to uh, paint in my different things. We're just going to paint kind of a, a white layer behind. If you've ever seen Bob Ross, then you might know that doing... Um, he usually does like a, a coat of liquid white. That's kind of what we're doing here as well. Having like kind of a base layer underneath this that's generally filled in fairly accurately. It doesn't need to be fully perfect right now. Um, and then kind of finessing it and uh, oops, it's still kind of large. Just kind of getting it in generally and then kind of going in and changing our shading accordingly is usually the best way to do it. And this will make the line art pop, pop a lot uh, pop, Oh my god, words. It will uh, help it pop a lot more as well. Just happy little accidents, yeah. My, uh, my father's like, hey, I never watch Bob Ross because, uh, like, like he watches Bob Ross, but he's like, I never watch Bob Ross through to the full thing because I fall asleep to it. And so I was like, well, so you, you've never seen him complete a painting? He's like, no, I've seen him complete a painting. I can't remember any in particular. I'm like, really? You can't remember any, but you can't even describe it. Usually they're pretty simple. He's like, no. I'm like, I don't think you actually have seen a full Bob Ross painting because explaining a Bob Ross painting is pretty It's literally mountain, some trees, and probably a cabin. You could have just went with that. I can't fall asleep to Bob Ross. I'm too, like... I'm too invested, you know? I want to see the final painting. I'm like, I want to know. Usually trees and mountains. I gotta cut out. Have a great night, everyone. Yay. Thanks you for coming along, Brian. Thank you so much. And have a great night. And also... Actually, that's really, really all I have. Have a great night, though. Seriously, thank you. Very much. I hope to do more art streams like this in the future, maybe some more interesting things. I mean, we have other emotes that were part of the vote that uh, are things that I think you guys still want. I'd be happy to do those, too, at some point. Those would be a little bit more, a little bit different because they would be things that aren't based off of something real like this is. So we can kind of have a little bit more fun with it. I'm not saying we're not having a good time now, but we can kind of be a little bit more creative, a little bit more adventurous when it comes to uh, what we're deciding to do. Uh, okay.
Oops. That's not a very big brush. I mean, if we end up liking this as its own thing, I have to get your guys' opinion once we're kind of shading or done shading this. I'll add some color too. Maybe. Maybe we'll just have an emote that's in this style. It won't really matter when we scale it down to Discord resolution anyway. It's fairly um, simplistic at that scale. They're very, very small images. Maybe we'll like it in this style, maybe we won't, I don't know. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I can't get this to accurately go how I want it to be. There we go. Nice, nice. Yep, some of this. The lines aren't fully accurate here, so we kind of have to just paint to where we think the lines are ending. Or starting, I guess. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I basically have it already. Excellent. Okay. Get rid of some of this as well. Don't need that. Okay, there's our kind of white base we have now. This weird forehead tattoo. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put bit of shading on this. So usually what I like to do is kind of lower this level a little bit. We're going to kind of figure out where we need to put shading first right now, I think. So we kind of have to decide where the lighting direction is coming from. I think we're going to go like this way. Something like that. That seems like the best case scenario. So that's where the lighting is going to come from. So we're probably going to have like something like this. I'll keep it kind of general right now, and then we'll kind of add more later. I'm gonna ignore some of the like shapes and stuff, like the extra little lines here and stuff. And just kind of figure out what it's gonna be. Something like that. Maybe. That might be a little too bright. Might change the opacity down. Ooh. Oh, I put it on top of that layer. Never mind, I have to redo it. Because I did it wrong. Oopsie. Okay. Let us redo that and try that again. We got it on a new layer? Yep. Okay. So I keep moving the layer. Did I get the kids to bed? You have a good night. Can't wait to see it finished. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for coming on out. Have a good rest of your night. And, uh... Probably won't finish it tonight, but it will be something that will be in the Discord at some point. Again, I will update as we go. I mean, the cleanup process is not going to be quite as entertaining because it's mostly going to be what you guys expect it to be, I would imagine. I was trying to give this some simpler shading. I think, honestly, though, we should probably just do something like this. Just trying to be a little bit more abstract with it, but I think, honestly, just doing something like this is going to be enough. Giving it kind of an edge here. Turn highlights like that. Might be good, and I might be able to erase a little bit of it. Have something like that going, maybe? Yeah. Then we can do another layer on top of that, right? I usually do about three-step shading. I usually do a highlight color, the main color, and then a darker color underneath, something like that. And then maybe there's a fourth step as well for a few extra things. 
but I try to keep it pretty basic, something like that. That's a little dark for me, I'd probably lighten that up a little bit, something around there. You know? Maybe that'd be where this extra little bit of shading like this is. You know, get a little bit of extra stuff like that. You could maybe add a little bit of a highlight here or something too, where you're like, you let's use like the white color and maybe add a bit of a highlight here. Just do it before it ever hits the shading and so you get something like this. Creates a bit of depth to his mustache, right? Ah, just in time for Halloween, a Burger King, yes. We got the creepy Halloween music playing right now, too. I don't know if you guys can hear that too well. That's playing at the moment. This actually is supposed to be creepy Halloween music. <laughs> I might do a bit of this, but I think we'll probably call it in a little bit. Just because I do have other things I need to do today. And I realize you guys don't have all the time in the world. The cleanup process is literally just going to be this again, but with different brushes and a little bit more time that I have to dedicate to the, like the line art stuff so probably won't be the most entertaining thing to watch regardless you know I just did the line art to uh, mimic the other side I realize that's not actually accurate well I mean we can we can just do this so it's fine yeah, that's why I mentioned not too creepy you no know, Michael Myers <laughs> yeah I saw a weird thing, I, I was read a weird thing recently that there was some article saying that like some people are are, are saying that Michael Myers is uh, homophobic because I think in the new movie they were like, oh, they kill like a homosexual couple or something, or he does or whatever. And they're like, oh, he's homophobic. And I'm like, no, he's a murderer. It's a bit like he's going to kill anybody, it doesn't really matter. I don't... Equal opportunity kill, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, he's... He's like, ah, you're somebody I can kill. Well, that's too bad for you. I don't think that was the problem. I don't know, I think that's just like some... I think it was Fox that did that or something. I did that on the wrong side. So it's like, I think they're just trying to get like an extra little bit of clicks going on there. Like, hey, what can we say that's controversial? <gasps> Perfect. I've got it. Like, please stop. I accidentally did this shading on the same layer, but whatever. We're committing. We're committing now. Uh, okay. There we go. There's the mustachio man. Got a bit of a mustache. Shading looks a little bit different on this side because of the weird speckles, but it's fine. It's the mustache Burger King man. Yeah, a lot of the shading is just literally just going to be this. The shading might be a little bit darker on his hair just because it's hair and it's brown, so. Uh, 
So let's see here. Yeah, yeah, we'll stick on the same layer. All right. Well, I can't make brush sizes right, can I? This is a weird brush because it kind of stacks like the colors on top of each other. It's really strange. Or like the layers on top of it. It doesn't blend into itself. I only discovered that after I made like my second piece of art that I can't show you uh, with this brush doing this kind of style. I've only recently done art like this. I've gotten a little bit more used to the pencil brushes in this app. At first I wasn't really used to it, so it was kind of weird feeling when I first did art like this. So all my art was just clean lines. But I find this helps a little bit with doing art this way because it allows you to kind of um, organically feel a piece of art out and try different things until it kind of works better. And then you can kind of like figure out what you want to do and then when you need to do clean art or like clean line art and stuff like that you can kind of do that later it's really cool it helps out a lot makes things feel better rather than just doing your clean art line art right away but I like doing it this way the coloring's kind of unnecessary, or like the shading like this is kind of unnecessary, but I mean... Whatever, yeah. I screwed up some of this stuff here, but that's fine. I think I did, actually. I'm gonna do that the other way. I think I screwed that up. Yeah, I definitely did. Okay. Try something like that instead. That might be better. Didn't really add any highlight line up here, did I? Try to do that too. That's a lot better. All right. Well, how long we've we been going here? About two and a half hours. I think we might finish up these eyebrows for now. I might call it there. I might do the rest of this off screen because we're gonna be here still a while. There's still a bit to do. I don't want to make you guys sit here all day. Uh, are we good on that? I think so. So it should be like that. Yeah. There we go. Looks good. I'm going to add a little bit of a highlight thing here as well. Yeah, I mean, the whole point of this is just to try to create depth. I mean, we have the line art there, so we kind of know where it is. 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to kind of leave it there. Um, I'll probably finish this off stream. Um, but really, like the rest of it is just shading it the way I have been doing. I got to do that for all of the hair <laughs> around his face right now. So that's going to take a little while. Um, so I'm, again, I'm not going to make everybody stay here while I do that. It's kind of the slower part. It's kind of more fun doing the initial line art to see what the image is going to look like. At this point, it's just adding a little bit of the, the lighting polish and some extra uh, line art polish. So that's basically, you know, the main part of the art. Um, again, this will be in the Discord at a later time. Um, once it's done as an emote, I'll post the actual full art as well as the, the full time lapse there as well. So if you're curious to see the whole thing, uh, that's what it is. You know, you'll be able to see all that stuff as well. Um, who knows, maybe I'll just record the stream setup too here while I finish it as well. Maybe I can post some stuff. Who knows what I'll do. I haven't planned that far ahead. Enjoyed vibing with you tonight, Risk. One more bite. Damn right. Thanks for having us, Risk, while you draw and munch whoppers. <laughs> nice, I've got a bail, but looks great. Thank you very much. Um... Yeah, you know, I'll definitely do more art streams like this in the future. Um, if we do some of the other remotes, it'll probably be a bit simpler. We'll be able to actually finish stuff all the way through. This is definitely the most complicated emote uh, that was part of the vote, and I wasn't sure if we were even going to be able to get it done tonight. So I, I wasn't planning on getting it fully done. Um, but I was like, we can at least get pretty far and kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. And yeah, so now we'll have something to compete with Vaughn Wendy, right? We'll have something to... Uh, you know, be able to be kind of that, that side sort of thing. I think that uh, now that we'll have both of these in the Discord, I think that uh, anytime we have like some sort of debate between Vaughn and Sean, we'll use those as the little voting things for who's in the, who's in the right. Vaughn, Wendy, and BK Sean, there you go. It's a good, it's a good little uh, suffix for it too. That'll probably be it. There we go. Whopper bite. I've ate most of the lettuce. It doesn't have its crunch anymore. But it's good. Real good. <laughs> All right. Very, very nice. My stream labels have also broken because that is not accurate at all. But anyway, um, thank you guys so much though for uh, coming out. I appreciate it. I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I don't know when my next art stream is. You guys will know if you're in the Shot to the Moon Discord. Anything Shot to the Moon related that I stream, I definitely again plan on doing more of that. Uh, I'll let you know in the illustrators room and all that kind of stuff. Maybe I'll do some like other stuff in the illustrator's room that's exclusive there. Might have a voice channel set up for some other stuff. Maybe some smaller little art things that are exclusive to the Discord if you're a holder of the Space Pass. There might be stuff like that in the future as well. Um, maybe get some sneak peeks on some upcoming art, like posters or anything like that. We've had that stuff in the back of our mind for stuff that we can do in the illustrator's room. So, uh, you know, there might be some of that in the future too. So uh, looking forward for stuff like that. Um, and yeah, that's basically everything for me. SS1 is just a little better than the rest. Okay, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys again so much. Appreciate you guys coming out. Thanks for everybody who subbed, gift subbed, all that kind of stuff. Usually my streams are a little more uh, quieter than that, so I do really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. But yeah, that's everything for me. Thank you guys again so much. I will see you guys whenever the next stream for Shot to the Moon is. I'll also do my own streams on my own time. Um, so if you're interested in anything like that, I'll be around. But yeah, thank you guys. See you guys later.